Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. You may be wondering what are we doing? Upsy Daisy is showing you our compost. What's a compost? Well, we take all of our fruits and vegetables and eggshells and we put them in this bin. So we have orange peels, eggshells, there's some spinach leaves, we even have an apple core and coffee grounds. There's even a banana peel. And all of this goes in our bigger compost bin, doesn't it, Eagle Pickle? So we're dumping all of this week's organic matter into the big bin and look at all the bugs flying around. Ooh, and it's quite stinky because the food starts to break down and then the worms turn it into dirt for our gardens. So we've turned our big composter around and on the bottom, you can see the worms hard at work, breaking down all of that food. And we're gonna take the dirt out of our composter and put it in our gardens. But first, we need to make sure we don't put the worms in the gardens with the dirt because we still need them in our compost to break down the food. So we dig for worms, and there's one. Let's dig for more. They're really easy to find. There's another one. There, you can hang out with your buddy, little worm. Let's check up above Macapaca's head. There's two more. See, there's lots of worms. That's why we have lots of dirt. They're wiggling around because they don't like the daylight. So they're trying to get underneath the dirt again. Now we also add some coconut husk to our compost dirt so that it stays dry enough for the worms. If it gets too wet, the worms won't survive. This dirt looks just perfect. So after we dig up our worms, we need to put them in a bucket with a little bit of dirt so that we can pour the rest of our dirt in the garden. Look at how many worms we've already collected. We have to dig and dig until we find all of the worms in our dirt. Can you help me look? There's another red worm. You're gonna find big worms and little worms. Sometimes baby worms, like this one. See how tiny it is? We better put him in the dirt. He's not liking the daylight. More worms back here. This one's a medium-sized worm. What's this behind Eagle Piggle? It's not a bouncy ball. It's an avocado pit. They don't break down very easily in the compost. Okay, we have all of our worms now. Now we've got to dump them in our bucket. And you can have a look at how many we've collected. Whoa, tons of worms. Lots of long worms, some skinny worms. Look at how they wriggle. They're so neat to watch. Silly Macapaca, are you playing with the worms? Macapaca. Macapaca's getting dirty with worms. We'll have to give you a bath after. And look who's joined him. Upsy Daisy and Eggle Piggle. Ooh, I wouldn't want to be in there. Well, it's time to put our worms back in the dirt. Let's get you out of here. We'll put you in the bucket, but we have two more worms we need to save. If they stayed in the bucket, they just dry out. So we need to take them out and put them back in our dirt. There you go, little worm. 
Let's get you out of here, Macapaca. Don't take a wormy with you. And you too, Upsy Daisy. Well, it's time to put our worms back in the big composter so they can continue to break down our food into dirt. Goodbye, worms. Thank you for doing the jobs you do. It's time to give everyone a bath. Thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.